I am a huge fan of the device frames in Camtasia. It's under the visual effects. You go to device frame, you drag it down onto a piece of content, and all of a sudden your video or your mobile recording shows up with this really uh, beautiful background design. It works great, except when it doesn't. Here's how we're gonna solve that issue of having a really long scroll and capture that we want to show up, and we're gonna fix it for real using track mats. We've got this uh, graphic, it's in a device frame. Let's get rid of the device frame, I'll delete it, and you can see that what I've got in here, if I scale this thing out, is I've just got a really long scrolling capture or panoramic capture. If you don't know how to do a panoramic capture, use Snagit, it makes it ridiculously simple. So I've got this big panoramic capture and maybe I've got an iPhone and uh, a screenshot of an iPhone and a, a fancy background. Sure, I could go on here and I could drag it on there, um, maybe even uh, center it and, uh, and resize it, right? I can, uh, I can get it pretty close on there. And uh, then maybe you'd be inclined to do something like this. You might be inclined to uh, drag a graphic uh, of some kind on there. And uh, with that, uh, I might go and choose alpha invert, uh, which will conceal what's underneath it. So I'm kind of able, and I could do that at the bottom. I could do it at the top, right? I could do all that. Invert is going to conceal, but it's going to be a little bit easier if we can reveal it. And to reveal it and do it properly, we're going to need the help of Mr. Brooks Andrews, who built this fantastic uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max realistic portrait. And it's going to look like this. So uh, first, let's clean up the timeline. Let's get rid of the track mats and, until we actually need them. And I am still going to be using this graphic. I'm just going to be putting it on top of this uh, track mat that he used. Um, but first, let's uh, let's get it sized up properly. All right, so I've got it reasonably sized here. Now I'm going to slide it off to the side for just a second, and I'm going to ungroup what uh, Brooks has made for us. And uh, you'll see that in this grouping, I've got some iPhone buttons, the device itself. I've got this placeholder, which uh, to show you what that looks like, the placeholder looks like that. And, uh, and then I've got uh, this screen. Now this screen is really important because the screen is doing a lot of heavy lifting for us. Uh, let me click on that so you can just see it. Uh, it is the perfect shape of the actual screen. And we're gonna be using that as a track mat. Uh, so let's go and I'm going to take this graphic that I used here and I'm going to drag that onto my placeholder. Now, one of the, th the dragging and dropping and replacing can be a little bit finicky. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on down at it from the top. And for some reason that kind of works better uh, when I'm trying to do the, uh, the replace and I right click and I'll simply hit replace here. Okay, now uh, it opens up in here and uh, we're going to have to size that one more time. Now let's get that just about right. Okay, obviously I can fine tune it, but you'll notice that it doesn't quite fit uh, exactly the way we want it to, uh, but we'll get there, don't worry about that. And uh, let me zoom out a little bit and just make sure that we're starting just about at the right spot. Okay, so last thing here is we're going to choose alpha to reveal what's underneath there. And now uh, if I zoom in, I got a much better view of, of this. Whoops, let's undo that. Hold down the space bar to get the hand tool. And uh, with the uh, long screenshot selected, I can use my arrow keys to uh, make it come down and have it start where it is that I want to. Then obviously uh, with uh, Shift A, I can create an animation uh, that will allow me to uh, scroll this graphic. Uh, once I get to the end where this is in red, uh, then I can have this thing scroll up. So let me just hold down the Shift key and the arrow key. And let's scroll out here to see how it looks. Now let's go just a little bit further. There we go. All right. 
and I'll uh, stretch this out just at the end. Now this gets way easier, right? Like this started with this concept of, I've got a screenshot, a long screenshot, and it's got to fit inside of here. This gets so much easier if you do yourself a favor and you record on your mobile device with the TechSmith Capture Tool. Because if you do, then it's already going to be perfectly sized. Uh, let me do this here and uh, turn off this track mat for now. And let me just show you that I do have on here a screen recording of my settings on my phone. Don't worry, there's nothing uh, very secure in here. And uh, I'm going to go one more time and drag down my iPhone uh, graphic here that I got from Brooks. And we'll ungroup it. And I'll take this iPhone vertical and drag that right into, there we go, it turns green and I'll ripple replace even with clip speed. Okay, and then, uh, oops, last thing I gotta do is right click and we're gonna go to alpha on that, okay? So you can see that I didn't I didn't have to do anything. It just fits beautifully inside of there. Uh, if I want to at this point also, I can do something like uh, command G to group it. And uh, even from here, and this is pretty nice, is I can, uh, let's say I do a, I'm kind of zoomed out here, but then in a moment I'm going to scale this up so people can see uh, greater detail on here, right? So, boom, and I can write, uh, and I can make that last as long as I want. All right, now here's the challenge for you. Uh, we're here to learn. We're here to apply this. You're welcome to just take these uh, assets and run with them, but I'd like you to try the following. I'm giving you on this timeline here the iPhone 11 Pro family. So Brooks uh, put together these graphics and each one of these has their placeholders. I'm also giving you uh, both the uh, horizontal video as well as the vertical video. So I'm giving them both to you. I want you to take them both and I want you to make them fit inside of here and then Make it your own, improve it, make it better, and keep making great content. Thanks a bunch for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Take care.